Hi everybody, it's April 6, 2019. I have some good news for you. Yeah, I do go shopping for good news. There's just not a whole lot of it, but I will continue uh, to do that. Why? Well, it's nice to hear some good news, but it's also for those who believe there's nothing we can do, there's nothing we can do, there's nothing we can do. Well, apparently there is something you can do because others are actually taking action and, well, what happens? Parents in New York, Rockland County, remember that video that I posted and others um, were writing articles? The ban, unvaccinated children cannot go to uh, public spaces for 30 days. And it even, <laughs> they even had a penalty of jail and a fine. Well, parents of unvaccinated children sued Rockland County. And guess what? The judge ruled in their favor and the ban was ended. Yay. Okay. Parents, organize. Get together. Fight. If you don't, you will lose all of your rights, all of your rights, all of your rights in relation to your children. And you are the authority over your children. Don't hand it over to these uh, crazy psychopathic authority figures overturned by Supreme Court ban overturned okay let's see what else Brussels says no to 5g the people of Brussels are not guinea pigs whose health I can sell at a profit the other reason why I am posting videos like this is to show you that there are people there really are people out there there's there are few but there are people with that strong moral core that guides them to do what is right. That's why we need more and more people with that strong moral core doing what is right. And yeah, people can develop their moral core. They can work on it individually to develop that strong moral core where they, they literally can't not speak out, take action against any kind of injustice. A Belgian government minister has announced that Brussels is halting its 5G plans, at least for now, due to concerns about health effects. This is what Celine Fremont, minister of the government um, responsible for housing, quality of life, environment, and energy, this is what she said, I cannot welcome such technology if the radiation standards which must protect the citizen are not respected, 5G or not. The people of Brussels are not guinea pigs whose health I can sell for a profit. We cannot leave anything in doubt. Fremont accurately identified that a 5G pilot project is not compatible with Belgian radiation safety standards. Many government agencies still only consider thermal effects instead of the cumulative body of thousands of peer-reviewed scientific studies proving 1G, 2G, 3G, 4G, now 5G. The biological effects, I posted a video last night showing thousands of studies adverse biological effects. No question that the 5G world would place us all under an unprecedented level of surveillance and control. And I showed in that video I posted last night, this military document, the exploitation of the millimeter wave, which is 5G. That the military uses it because with these millimeter waves, they can see-through walls, your home, and they can also see through your pocketbook, your briefcase, 
your shopping bags, your clothing, to see if you are carrying something your dictators don't want you to carry. Granting unheard of powers, unheard of powers, to soulless corporate algorithms. 5G. Wireless industry brashly admit they have not done any safety studies, nor do they plan to. And all of these uh, underlined uh, mustard colored words. Those are the hyperlinks so you can see or read about how they brashly admit, okay, they've not done any safety study, studies. Hundreds of scientists are trying everything to sound the alarm. Uh, Dr. Martin Paul, who has done a lot of studies and found that, no, it's not just 5G, but found that this Wi-Fi that these gadgets, that the smart meters are incredibly dangerous. He's showing adverse biological effects, and he calls the 5G rollout the stupidest idea in the history of the world. All right. Uh, I will also link below to Environmental Health Trust, 5G, and the Internet of Things, Scientific Overview of Human Health Risks, and here a lot of links, a lot of studies regarding the biological effects of 5G. Iowa, small town in Iowa, Ida Grove. And I'm afraid that might be one of the towns that was underwater. I might be wrong on that, but the town banned fluoride and ends program ends program as chemicals danger becomes apparent. Guess what? The uh, residents and the city council, well, they banned it. They got it done. Because they band together, they organize, and, well, that's the result. When you have people who are concerned about uh, whatever it is, but they band together and organize, they get the job done. So don't tell me nothing can be done. And don't tell me that this is God's plan and God's in control. Perhaps what's happening here is that maybe life on planet Earth is a test. It's a test. It's a test of your moral character. And yes, how do we see moral character in a human being? Is it just that somebody says, I have moral character, I'm a good person? No, we see it in their action, how they behave, how they live their life. You know, the fruits, the fruits are visible. So, um, these are the fruits of action by human beings. Kentucky governor signs constitutional carry bill into law. Well, persons aged 21 or older and otherwise able to lawfully possess a firearm may carry concealed firearms or other concealed deadly weapons without a license in the same locations as persons with valid licenses issued. More, more governments are um, allowing concealed carry because life here has become uh, dangerous. Then there's a lot of crazy people. A lot of crazy people. So, what good cops look like? Sheriff and all deputies quit to protest unconstitutional jail conditions. We need to post videos on those who are standing up and 
doing what is right. They need recognition. So please circulate, circulate the information. And again, I'll say this, you do not have to circulate my video, circulate what I link to below and I link to everything, um, virtually everything that I work off of in videos. So during a press conference last week, Sheriff Terry Sue Barnett read her letter of resignation and then let out a bombshell admission that a judge tried to bribe her to stay on and lie. Just like that woman, Audrey Askew in Baltimore, the city auditor, she resigned. She could not lie. She could not cook the books. People like this need recognition. Unfortunately, who gets recognition in this country? The worst of the worst. So we need to change that. We need to take action to change it. You know, this kind of behavior needs to, needs to trump, <laughs> trump those who are behaving psychopathically, narcissistically, greedily. Barnett did something many other good cops are afraid to do, which is standing up to injustice. So I included that because the more recognition these people get, the, the ripple effect will be that those who are afraid, it will lessen their fear. It will lessen their fear. And they too will stand up and do what is right. So Barnett uh, did something that most good cops, quote unquote, are afraid to do. You're not a good cop until, until you, yeah, you can be afraid. Uh, courage does not trump fear. Courage is, the definition of it is when people, when people take the action regardless of their fear. Standing up to injustice and adding to that was nearly her entire staff followed suit immediately after she resigned. Twelve members of the Nevada County Sheriff's Office in Oklahoma, uh, including all deputies, the head dispatcher, and most of the jail staff, resigned with Barnett. She, in her resignation letter, included why she was resigning. And you can read the reasons. The jail itself was placing inmates in a very dangerous building and what it did was in fact create a cruel and um, oh god what's the term I can't even remember god cruel and unusual uh, circumstance for these inmates um, Yeah. So what did she say with deep regret? Today I am tendering my resignation letter as your sheriff of Nevada County. I have been informed by Judge Gibson that he is going to mandate me to bring prisoners back into the Nevada County Jail today or be held in contempt of court. I cannot do so in good conscience. And if you read the condition of this jail, I would hope that all of you would would uh, take the same kind of action that this sheriff did. So uh, it's unfortunate that one would have to even say kudos to you because this is how everybody should be uh, behaving. This is this is what a good person does. Her predecessor, 
of this jail, uh, uh, of the sheriff's count, uh, sheriff's office, was uh, arrested last October for embezzlement. Sheriff Kenny Freeman, arrested for embezzlement. He was caught stealing supplies meant for schools in Nawada County. When police officers quit their jobs to stand up, not only for the rights of free citizens, but for the rights of people in jail, they deserve recognition. Yes, they do. Yes, they do. Thank you. My God. We all need to be very conscious, conscious of our behavior and make sure that we are behaving in ways that are right versus wrong. And I understand that most people have gone to that moral relativism thing. I get to decide. I get to decide if my behavior is moral or not. No, you really don't. You really don't. You get to whitewash in your own brain your own behavior, but it ain't right and it ain't moral. Morality, truth, it all is objective. It is not subjective, which is unfortunately, uh, well, I remember in the early 80s, the New Age movement, it just it exploded and moral relativism suddenly took hold. Oh, you can't blame anybody. Uh, it's up to your perception. You just perceive things in a way, Carol, that is uh, dark. You know, they didn't do anything really that bad. You know, this is like the excuse that most people make. Get off it already. Develop some, something of substance within you and recognize that. Yes, there is a right and there is a wrong and you don't get to define what it is. Oh boy. There's guy blasting his radio outside. Okay, I'll pause you for a second. Okay, so in California apparently a court had decided that uh, that magazines holding more than 10 rounds is legal and Californians are buying up uh, magazines going crazy with purchases. California residents are in a rush to buy magazines but before the state can appeal U.S. District Judge Roger um, Bennett's decision in the Ninth Circuit Court. The judge's decision stunned the California Attorney General and the gun community as well. Yes, you have a right to purchase what you want. Especially today, considering what is going on. South Africans three uh, threatening to camp until cell tower was removed, led to its removal from school property. Yes, hats off to these South Africans who were willing to take off work and camp out overnight in bad weather to protect their children. This is what good parents do. They protect their children. Okay? Residents of Arena Park mobilized a march to Crestview Primary School on Human Rights Day after receiving messages that the cell mask, which was initially objected to, was reinstalled after the residents objected strongly to the construction of the tower and threatened to camp at the site where the mask was erected until it, it is taken down. All workers and equipment were removed from the school. The principal instructed the contractor to stop work and to bring down the mask. The message from parents to the principal was very clear, that they will not leave until that mask comes down. Preparations for parents to camp overnight were well on the way. Residents united, residents united, they unite, parents, they united. And in a show of strength, 
exercised their democratic right on Human Rights Day and had sent a very strong message that the school belongs to the community and that they need to be consulted on matters that affect them. And guess what? The principal took it down. Yes, there's an awful lot that we can do. And uh, French, Germans, the farmers, they destroyed GMO contaminated crops. Transnational company Bayer said Wednesday that farmers in France and Germany were digging up thousands of hectares of rapeseed fields after traces of genetically modified organisms, which are banned for cultivation, were found in seeds sold by the company. We don't want it. We're going to dig it up. Get out of here. This is what happens when people come together. This is what happens when people unite. So do not tell me there's nothing that we can do. Do not tell me that God is in control. Relax. And please do not write comments like, this is glorious. This is the prophecies you know, coming true. I actually get comments from Christians who say they're happy about everything that's taking place. Clearly, they haven't suffered the consequences of the evil that is taking place. So, you decide. Stay inactive and wait until you get destroyed or become active. Talk to people in your communities. Parents, talk to other parents. Get the job done. Because you know what? When people organize and with that show of force, things do happen. Principle back down. These people do not have the right to place your children in danger. And they do that. Teachers, you could band together and say, we are not working until you get this Wi-Fi and the cell tower removed from school property. Look, Americans, <laughs> you're really showing your true colors here. Okay? Lazy, apathetic, uh, and scared little children. You need to change that within yourself and become, be, be, just get in touch with that power within you and become a force of good. All links are below.